we are about to encounter, Lord, and I just pray that you will give us your words through the power of the Holy Spirit, not our flesh, Lord, and, you know, prepare our, our minds and our hearts, Lord, for those encounters, Lord, and through, I ask that Holy Spirit, may you speak through every single one of us, Lord, in whatever capacity you see fit, Holy Father. I also want to break every single demonic appointment that has come against us this day, Amen. but we know that, they, that they're out there, so right now, in Jesus' mighty name, we break those altars, you, and I ask for legions of angels to be in front of us, behind us, and all around us, Lord, for protection and may a ring of fire be placed on us, Heavenly Father, so that nothing, no weapon formed against us will prosper today, Amen. Heavenly Father. Yes, so in Jesus' mighty name, we give you this. Amen. 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 Tomorrow is not promised, tomorrow is not ours. He's knocking at your door right now. Receive him into your heart, into your life. And he has power, but we must abide in him. Like it says in the book of John, he says it's specifically John 15. It's a spiritual contract. He says, if you abide in me and I abide in you, you will ask what you wish and it will be given to you. But it's not what the world calls this spirituality or speaking it into the universe because the bible also talks about in the end times there will be doctrines of demons and wherever the word of god is proclaimed demons show up but the truth is that god loves you and if you're sitting here right now receiving this message if you're here listening to this message it's because God loves you. And if you want to know how real God is and how powerful God is, just pay attention to every time that the word of God is proclaimed, how demons show up. But I rebuke that in Jesus' name because we have power and authority through the Holy Spirit. And God is mighty. And God is so mighty because he's calling somebody here today. Someone is struggling with alcoholism someone is struggling with depression someone is struggling with anxiety or suicidal thoughts some of us are struggling with demonic oppression but i'm here to tell you that god is mighty he can deliver us of all those things but what he requires from us is a humble heart a repentive heart Lord, while you continue to uh, finish the perfect work that you are yes, uh, that you are doing in this life and that you have continued, Lord, because there is a reason. There is a reason. And I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, God's Lord. grace. Amen. Amen. Keep being Amen. drawn to him. I ask this right now, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. of you are under the heavy yoke of bondage or false religion. You want to be good enough to save yourself. You want to do works to say, you, you say, well, I have to partake of this sacrament. You know, I have to partake of the sacrament of baptism, the sacrament of first communion, the, the sacrament of this and that. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to go to church. I have to read my Bible. That's not what saves my friend. 
Salvation is a free gift that God offers you through Jesus Christ. He paid it all. You know, the, the world wants to give you political candidates like they're a savior, but yet we're still in the same situation. And what I'm saying is we have a savior. He came 2,000 years ago, and his name is Jesus Christ. In the book of John, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. See, Jesus Christ loves us so much that he came down and took the sins of the world upon himself. The book of Isaiah says that by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes you are healed. The problem that we got is that we don't want to surrender. We want to drive that vehicle and be in control. But what Jesus Christ requires is that we take that bag of sin that we had since the beginning of time. That bag of sin, it, it all looks different. We all have a oh. different bag of sin. But don't forget that bag. He said, bring it with you. Bring it at my altar. Bring it at my feet. Ask for repentance and I will restore you. I will heal you because he is almighty God and then receive him into your life as Lord and Savior. You see, a lot of us, we want the gift. A lot of us want the benefit of God, but we don't want his Lordship. We don't want him call him, we don't want to call him master, but he requires both. Cristiano, ¿verdad? Sí, claro, claro, Pero claro. Es muy difícil cuando uno viene aquí. Es tan, bien difícil. Tanta cosa que Tanta hay. cosa, tanta cosa. Pero ¿sabes que Lo que te digo es, la, 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 la palabra de Dios dice que nadie es perfecto. Y como dice en el, en el, en el libro de Roman, ¿verdad? Que we all for sure are the glory of God. Pero es con la poder de Dios y el Espíritu Santo de Dios. Que él, él, él es que le va a dar a nosotros la ayuda que necesitamos. Sí, claro. No, no, nada más quería felicitarlo porque, Ajá. bueno, yo también, o sea, nosotros este, también tenemos la palabra, o sea, Ajá. leemos, también damos mensaje, pero, este, o sea, su beco de Houston, Ajá. también estamos este, participando, evangelizando y en luchando, Órale. entonces, este, el ver a alguien así, yo digo, no me voy a ir sin felicitarlo, porque ah, no importa que... Somos hermanos. Claro, este, eh, en, este, en este caso, pues nosotros creemos Ajá. en Jesús. Creemos que Él murió, ha dado la vida por nosotros. Ahora esa salvación la tenemos que ser nosotros aceptando a Él como nuestro único Salvador. Yo sabe, el sabemos. único, exactamente. Ah, era, claro. eh, entonces, este, entregándole la vida a Cristo y llevándole. Como lo dijo, no o sea, el mensaje, no, o sea, me gustó porque es difícil ver aquí tanto, entre Ajá. tanta cosa, Ajá. ver a alguien. Le dije, no, no, no voy a ir sin saludarlo porque, y felicitarlo y decirle. ¿Cómo? Let me ask you a question, let me ask you a question, and you already know, right, so you're like, man, here we go, he's going to hit you with it, right? But it's all good, it's all good, we're, we're, you know, it's good conversation. If you die today, heaven or hell? Have you been freed by the power of If you die today, God forbid, right? Because anything can happen to us at any time. Heaven or hell? Go to church. Are you a good person? There are many people who are religious. And, well, I go to church, that doesn't matter, friends. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to McDonald's. Your life belongs, belongs to God, absolutely. That's not going to help you. Well, but how do you know that you would go to heaven have based on what? Based on I'm going to conclude right now. I'm just going to say this. In Matthew uh -huh. chapter 7. You come from so the dirt, then you will go back to the dirt. In yes. Matthew chapter the body, 7, Jesus body. said, Not yeah. everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord. And he says, that's what Jesus is saying, and that why did he pray them? God says, it's not a good. Lord, Lord, to be alone. Lord, he, was he was talking to himself before he prayed a man and woman. He was talking to himself. Let us pray. God in my image. He was talking to himself. Yes. Yes. And God was lonely. And he needs someone to come down to the earth, to know with earth, and make this earth godly. So he prayed. Where he was talking to Adam in that verse. No, he wasn't going to Adam yet. Yeah, no, no. When he created Adam, no, for real. When you go back to Genesis, He's having a conversation when he made Adam. He specifically told Adam, it's not good for man to be alone. And that's what he created Eve. Because Adam was by himself. In, in, in that context, it literally says that it was just... The soul was two. The soul was two. What do you mean? The soul, there was two souls. There was God. 
and then all, all the angelic beings that he created, right? Because he made them before. So, the, angel, yeah. the angels are... They're, 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 they're uh, the, the, the sons of God he made. Them, right? They're just creatures. They're, just, they're not yeah. special. All of us are creatures. Yeah. Snake. The snake is... Not smart enough like the woman, but the woman was smart. God have a God made them for a reason, right? I don't yeah, know. For relationship. But it was not created to just to be in heaven, just to be born out there in heaven like no, the he wanted before. God wants relationship with us. He wants to send them down to the earth. So like what did he say? When they hit it, he said like now you become like us. That's he what the devil like said. No no no. God say also that now you know good and bad. You yeah. become one of us. The Bible you have sin, okay. right? You know, so to, now yeah. you know good and bad. You now see. you know all things, right? So but, now, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, God has a mission. Like, he had a purpose for creating them. He wants to send them here to introduce to, 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 to God to the earth, the lowest earth. To the, you know, it's the lowest earth. Yeah. God wants the Adam and Eve for the mission to let the earth about God. Check it out, right? That's why it's so important, bro. It's so important that we stick to Scripture. Because once we start deviating from Scripture, right? In the book of Isaiah, Old Testament, matter of fact, in Genesis, immediately after that happened, man fell. God created a sacrifice, so something had to die to redeem them, and they were cloaked, right? Hold on, stay with me. And then he says to the devil, the snake, he said, I will put enmity, in Genesis, this is in Genesis, I will put enmity in the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman, and then he will crush his skull, but you will bruise his heel. What God said in that, mo in that moment was he identified the plan of redemption because now we are all fallen, right? He says that I will come through my son, Jesus Christ. He will take the burdens of the world, take it upon his shoulders, he will die on the cross, take our sin, right? And then he will redeem us, but we must come to him and receive him. And now we are washed by the blood of Jesus. We know that because in the book of Romans, it says that we have all fallen short of the glory of God and we're all our sinners, right? So if God is perfect and holy, nothing filthy can be in his presence, right? And, the, and in the book of John, it says that um, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. So if we neglect and we reject, that's what Jesus told the Jews. But Jesus told the Jews. Told, like, nobody had to die for anybody's sin. You know, yes, they did. Individuals, we all carry God's soul. And nobody had because to die he's for the soul giver, but we have fallen. That's what I'm saying. And that's a lie from the enemy oh, that, because it's all about, no, check it out. When you look at every single religion in the world, this is how you know Christianity is so unique, bro. Test it, by all means. I'm not here to say anything on you, but brother, I'm telling you, check it out. When you look at every single religion in the world, you know what they all preach besides Christianity? That if you're such a good person, if your good deeds outweigh your bad, you're good. You punch your ticket to heaven, good job. Just like a job, you go to Casa Rio, you do your, 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 your work, and then at the end of the day, you get your check. Because no, that's not how like we that. are. Not because we are doing... It's work. It's good. You're in control. It's good to do... To do God it's thing. good. To, it's it's good, good to do Godly thing, but not necessarily yeah. you will go to heaven because you're doing good. So what, like the what, about, what about Hitler? Hitler? That Hitler, that's that God gave Hitler that soul, so he goes to heaven. See, Hitler was a bad person. All knows. Now, how do you like identify good and bad without God? Without God? No, I'm not saying like Hitler. Yeah. Hitler is a good person, but listen, yeah. he got it. He's a man. He he was like like me yeah. and you. He make a mistakes. He saw might be in heaven. Hitler saw might be in heaven. Yes. That's a big one. That's, a, that's big a big one. You know what I'm saying? With everything that he did. But check it out. The Bible says that God doesn't even distinguish between sins. There isn't diff different levels of sin. He says we all have fallen. So let's just say if I never receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, if I don't acknowledge what he did for me 2,000 years ago, I go to hell alongside him. And that's a that's a big one to swallow. But it, but it, it doesn't say that. Probably. But the soul belongs to God and he goes to God. And he sends it where he wants to. Hey, come on, bro. Before you leave, come on. Let's pray for you, brother. Uh, hey, I got to go to work. <laughs> hey, check out that channel, bro. <laughs> good talk, man. Good oh, talk. Man. Crazy, yeah, crazy. crazy doctrines, that's bro. crazy, man.
But you notice everybody, that's what they want to believe, right? Everybody wants to be in control. Yeah. You know? It's uh <clears throat> Hitler might be in heaven, man. That's a big that's one. Crazy. I should have told him, hey bro, you're on camera, that's... so you might want to read that. <laughs> that's that crazy. Um, he said something about hey Hitler might be in heaven. So I was like, bro, that's a big that's one. A that's a stretch. <laughs> that's a stretch. Uh, What's up everybody? Man, what an uh what the end of an amazing day. Um, God definitely moved. Uh -huh. um, to give you guys a little bit of an insight and to be transparent, to be real. You know, you just gotta listen to God. Even when you don't feel like you should do it, do it. Not in your flesh, because that's when you feel it. Um, today, I got in my head. Mm. And man, I felt so tired. I felt lethargic. I told my, my boy Josh, you know, and I even heard a voice in my head. It was like, man, you can't preach today. You can't mm. talk to people <laughs> today. But let me tell you, Josh, am I, right or wrong, bro, God moved today. Solid, um, man, man. He moved really powerful. And whenever we're, we think that we're, we're the weakest, he's going to be the strongest. Absolutely. You know, so I've, I felt that today as well. Before here, like, was so many emotional attacks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, Jesus, it was just like the last time, if you guys remember in my last video, that it was the same thing happening. But... Uh, we can do all things through Jesus, who, who uh, through Christ, who strengthens us. Absolutely. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, drop a share, drop a like, and um, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And remember, give a thumb up and a subscribe to his ministry, Rise to Serve. Um, you can stop by Minds as well, and we're teaming up. We're here in San Antonio's Apologia today, and we're teaming up, and let's be... Uh, let's be people that blow the horn. Let's be watchmen, y'all. Peace out.